Kahalayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who rule well, shalom, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. All right. Um, shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is Brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp, basically coming to you with another lesson. You know, I'm going to be going into a little bit of the bloodline and a little bit of history of Israel since all these Hebrew Israelites. All right, this dedicated to the black-only Israelites. All right, I was talking to the elder Malcolm yesterday, you know, about doing a response to this uh, destroyer, the Gentiles guy. You know, you, they make bugged out ass videos. You know, they believe only all Israel is black. And, you know, they shun the northern kingdom, whatever, which, which consists of the Latinos and the Native American Indians with, with no vital breakdowns behind it. But um, anyway... You know, in 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 one thing, you know, but that's you know that's that's not even new to me. You know, I, I don't, you know, we didn't cut y'all with that so many times, and we gonna keep defending the gospel. All right, we ain't gonna knock on you niggas' head to get it. All right, but when it come up, we are gonna deal with it. But one of the things he said that stuck out to me is they believe through your mother and father, you gotta be an Israelite. These certain second Negroes believe that you gotta be an Israelite by your mother and father. That don't make no sense, man. But who was the mothers of the 12 tribes of Israel? All right. And, and what was their nationalities? All right. And we're going to get into a couple of the kings. I'm, well, I'm going to get into Absalom because I want to use him as my main example. All right. Absalom was the son of King David. All right. And uh, I, I don't need to think his mother was an Israelite. I think his mother was Syrian. All right. But that's neither here or there. You know, just like... um. But David, you know, Absalom was Solomon's brother, all right? Now, Solomon had, had a son, right, Rehoboam. Now, he married a daughter of Absalom. Okay, when you go into the, um, like I went to the Bible dictionary, it says a daughter or could be a granddaughter of Absalom, more than likely a daughter, but that's not the matter. When Absalom was buried, we, we, matter of fact, we're just going to read it. We're going to get into it, man, because your mother... Does not determine your race. She does not determine your nationality. All right. Your your mother, you, for you black only Israelites, and for you niggas, see that going to that Queen of Heaven bullshit. All right. This ain't nothing new. The man that you come from determine your bloodline. You know, and I'm going to use Absalom in this example because in uh, 2 Samuel, the 18th chapter, when he died, all right, he said he had no men. You know, to wear his um, to um, carry on his name. So he had a pillar. Now, when you go into Samuel the fourteenth chapter, they said that he had three sons. All right. Now, you know, if you niggas do research, because we know you niggas don't study, so I'm gonna just say it. You know, when you go into the history of it, and it's worth a Google. You niggas believe in Google so much, but um, you know, uh, one of the um things state that um. Basically, his sons perished in a young age. He had three sons that perished in a in young age. All right, when you go into the history. But since he had, he didn't have them sons anymore to carry on his name, his pillar was to himself. Because just women came out of it. All right? Because women don't. Listen, man, whatever seed you put in a woman, that's what it is, man. Okay. You niggas are bugged the fuck out. Your mother and father determine your nationality. That, that makes no sense, man. Matter of fact, let me get to 2 Samuel 18 first. This is 2 Samuel. I think it's 18 and 18. This is 2 Samuel. Yep. This is 2 Samuel, the 18th chapter and the 18th verse. Now, Absalom in his lifetime had taken a pillar and, a re and reared up for himself a pillar. Now, he did this while he was alive, which is in the king's deal. For he said, I have no son, son, to keep my name in remembrance. What is his name? The name of that house, the house of uh, uh, David, the house of Absalom, the house of Joshua, the house of uh, me, Yahmiah, you know, whoever, you know, that, that the house of Esau. That's a whole nation of Edomites through who? Esau. That's his race. That's his bloodline. He's the progenitor of that race. All right, a house is a is a, is a, is, a, is a race, a bloodline. All right, but specifically, he was a, he was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah.
but that would have been his name and his remembrance, all right? By having a son and his son to carry on his name. All right, it says, For he said, I have no son to keep my name in remembrance. And he called the pillar after his own name, and it is called unto this day Absalom's place. Now, he said it is called unto this place Absalom's, um, you know, called unto this day Absalom's place. All right. Why didn't he say, if your mother and father matter, why didn't he say, well, you know, I still got a daughter. Or I might have another daughter on the way. So, you know, let me let me do this thing. Because he knew the bloodline came from the man. And he knew for a fact he didn't have any sons or sons on the way. Matter of fact, let me see. I think I wrote one of them down. All right, no, whatever. You know it's in the 14th chapter. Right, now this is 2 Samuel. And like I said, you got to go and, and research to get this. All right, because other than that, you would think it's a contradiction. Now this is 2 Samuel, the 14th chapter, in the 27th verse. It said, And unto Absalom there were born three sons, and one daughter whose name was Tamar, she was a woman of fair countenance. All right. And it's crazy because in the spirit, even Esau got right here. See chapter 18 and 18. So I'm going to just read it again. That's the spirit. It says, now Absalom in his lifetime, now I said he had three sons. All right. And like I said, when you go into the history, it showed that they died. All right. Deep in a, in a young age. Now Absalom in his lifetime had taken... And rid up for himself a pillar in the king's dale, for he said, I have no son to keep my name in remembrance, for he called the pillar after his own name, and it is called unto this day Absalom's place, because those sons perished, all right, and he only had daughters, or right there it says a daughter, all right, and I dig this, when you go in the real bomb, right, he married the daughter of Absalom. Now, you know, this dictionary, I had looked in this dictionary, it goes off. It says a daughter could be a granddaughter. This could be a daughter he just had on the way. But nevertheless, that's not the point. The, the point is, whether it was his daughter or, 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 you know, granddaughter or whatever, you know, which, you know, predominantly you leaning towards it being his daughter. But um, this that's neither here nor there. The point is that this is real bone, Solomon's son. All right, Absalom's brother's son, and he married the daughter of Absalom. This is Second Chronicles eleven. It's like yeah, Second Chronicles eleven and twenty-one. It said, "And Rehoboam loved Makah, the daughter of Absalom, above all his wives and his concubines, for he took eighteen wives, <laughs> which is another cut. For he took eighteen. <laughs> Above all his wives and concubines, for he took 18 wives and three score concubines, and he begot 20 and 8 sons and three score daughters. And uh, it said, And Rehoboam made Abijah the son of Makkah, the chief, the ruler among his brethren, for he thought to make him king. So after that, all right, Rehoboam made his son king, all right, that he had. From Absalom's daughter. Alright. So. The, the, the bloodline. Alright. So now. It, it stayed in that bloodline. Now the blood. So the bloodline comes from the man. You dumb niggas. I just wanted to use that. that that's something I had peeped about. You know. David's treacherous son Absalom. To prove that. Now when you go in the real bone. His mother was an Ammonite. Matter of fact, it, it probably stated in the next chapter. I think it's the next chapter. Or what's the same? No, come. All right, I, I want to get into this too, man. The, the, you, you niggas are bugged the fuck out, man, with that, that dear mama Israelite spirit. Your mother has nothing to do with bloodline. All right, and it's just a little piece out of the Chronicles of the Kings to prove it. This is uh, second, uh Chronicles 12 and uh, 13. It says, So Rehoboam 
strengthen himself. My Uriabom is the king at this time, the king of Judah in Jerusalem and reigned. For Rehoboam was one and forty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem. The city which Yahweh had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there, and his mother's name was Namah the Ammonitess. Now, she was an Ammonite. You niggas are bugged out, so... You telling me real born wasn't an Israelite? You telling me Absalom wasn't an Israelite? You telling me Absalom was was stupid to think that his daughter could to know that his daughter couldn't carry on his name because he knows that the name that that household comes from the seed. That's why even in modern times, when you marry a woman, you know you you um was so called marry a woman according to Esau, they even take your last name. You black power Israelites, you black only Israelites with that. Your mother and father determine your nationality. You, you niggas are just stupid, man. An Israelite man can plant seed in whatever woman he want, and that's going to be an Israelite. Just like an Edomite man can plant seed in a woman that he want, and that seed's going to be an Edomite, man. That's why we have the parable of the wheat and the tares. That's why we have confusion of faces. And that's why the law says this, and we always going to go to it. It's never going to get old. Because it's the chief of these cuts. Well, you don't have to explain stuff like I'm explaining right now. All right? This is just an overkill for you dummies who think y'all read the Bible. Y'all y'all don't know the scriptures, man. This is Numbers 1 and 18. And all the, and they all assembled. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. Oh, there they go. Their families by the house, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. According to their names. That's why Absalom said what he said when he died, because he knew his name wasn't going to continue. All right. Whatever man popped his daughter or one of his daughters, that was going to be. I, I have a daughter. When she come of age and, and, and some dude smoke her, Lord willing, we be in the kingdom. That's going to be in that family. That's going to be in that household. But I have sons also. And when my sons, you know, handle their business, that's going to be of their household, of our household. You, 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 get, you dig what I'm saying? Now and then he's going to have his firstborn. That's going to be the beginning of his shrimp, so forth and so on. That's how, the, that's how this shit go. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm looking at numbers. But uh, that, that's just the spirit of little fake boost. It said numbers, and it said one four four right here. I guess that's the, the last verse on this um, this um, this page. Yeah, kind so look, man. Hey, man, man, that's the spirit. I'm gonna read that. This is numbers one in the forty fourth verse. It said, now these are those that the Lord gave me something. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel being 12 men, each one was for the house of his fathers. And it say nothing about the mother, man. You niggas cut, man. That's why we have confusion of faces. We have Israelites that look like Edomites, Conor McGregor. Is an Israelite. Mark Wahlberg is an Israelite. Like uh, the Elder Apostle brought out, uh, Gino Vanelli is an Israelite. Um, what's that guy? Simply Red is an Israelite. He's singing that song, I Keep Holding On. Uh, Bobby Cadwell is an Israelite. The Average White Band. All right? And it's a spirit. You know it through the spirit, man. So you niggas are smoke, man. But then you have these Edomites, Hillary from Fresh Prince, Lenny Kravitz. They black ass Edomites. Hey Amen. But you know, you BOI niggas are through. But with that being said, call, allow me, how about Shimmy, how about Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash. You know, hopefully that was edifying and shallow one.